Diamond Gang. This is your girl, Therese from Simply Therese. And I am back with another video. Quit playing. Let's go. Hi, guys. So, I'm going to be doing the a 90 day update video on my car vendor experience. And it's actually over 90 days. And I'm going to answer any questions y'all have for me down below in this video. If you have additional questions, leave it down below and I'm going to get to it. So, the very first question that I have is, did I have to put down a large down payment, so down 2000 Simply differs, it differs off your credit score and all that different things. So your down payment might be different from mine. Or you might not even have a down payment. You get what I'm saying? The question is, how much are your monthly payments? Well, I pay two ninety a month. How long did it take for you to get your car? Well, I purchased it on either a Friday or a Saturday evening. And then I ended up getting it that next following week on a Tuesday. So it was about two or three days. What is your referral code if I want to use your referral code? Okay, well, with the referral code from what I was told by Carvana is a little different now. They go by your email, telephone number, and the car that was purchased. So if you want to purchase a car from Carvana, you've seen this video, and you want to use my referral code because I'm that cool. Okay. You can use my email, which I'm going to leave it down below right here. I have a car that I purchased, and then they're going to want my phone number. So if you want my phone number, you're going to have to email me. You can give it to Carvana because I don't want to leave it in the video. Got it? All right. Serious inquiries only, okay? How does proof of insurance work when the car is delivered? You have to call your insurance company, put that car that you just purchased on the policy before they get there to deliver your vehicle. You have to make sure it's fully covered. What's my credit score? It basically go off of your credit. What you have to do is go through the process of putting in your information that they ask you for. They put all that in this. Go off of that. You will have to go through the process to figure out how much you'll be paying. So hopefully that answered your question. Was the estimate of the car note accurate of your purchasing? Same thing. Mm, it was a little bit off. Um, like I said, it's an estimate. Estimates is not always guaranteed. Estimate of my car note versus of what they told me it would be was off about a good like maybe hundred dollars to ninety dollars. Do you need full coverage insurance on a car? Yes, you do. If I don't have my license, could one of my parents give them his or hers? What whoever name is going up under, that's who's responsible for the car. So they're gonna want that person's license. Did you get the Carvana Care extended warranty? I did get their warranty, but I didn't get the fully extended warranty, which I wish I did. Not saying that's a bad thing, but that would've helped me out in the long run. I ended up getting their basic limited warranty, which is expired now. It actually expired three weeks ago. But, but anything that goes wrong with the car, with their basic warranty, they give you 90 days. They have like a little part on the app, if you download their app, to where you can call this number. And their services is through Silver Rock. And basically, it's like their maintenance service. And they found like a little place around you to fix your car. But I still have a warranty. But I'm just saying, now, if anything was to happen to the car... I'm fully responsible for it, but when I say by their, I still own warranty, meaning like if anything happened for us underneath that hood, transmission, um, radiator, all that stuff, I'm still under warranty for that for 60 more months. Call Silver Rock, and if you want to know Silver Rock's number, if you are already with Carvana and you're not sure what the number is, it is one eight six six. 628-3905 and it's going to be at the bottom of the screen you can call them basically give them your name the type of car you got and they're going to ask you any information like your social security number 
and all that stuff and then they get you to a specialist so you can get your car fixed like their warranty is bomb i love their warranty and i wish i would have got it extended like i said just because because stuff happens so you know what i'm saying i could have just called civil right like hey I need a book appointment somewhere because this, this, this is an act. So, speaking of this is an act and all that good stuff, um, let's go into anything and everything that I've experienced so far. And I think I didn't answer everybody's question. So far, since I purchased my car from Carvana. All right, since I didn't have my car from Carvana, only thing I didn't experience was the brakes and the rotors okay so basically one day i was driving and i heard like a like clink 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 noise and i'm like oh my god what is that so i even asked my fiance like babe get in the car and drive for me real quick he like you tripping that's a brand new car you that's a brand new car nothing wrong with that car no babe get in the car drive it for me please around the corner so he get in it one day, he drives in it, hears the same clink, okay? Because he thought I was tripping. He like, I did hear a little something, something. Like something was broke off somewhere and I can hear like a little clink, clink, clink. And then it was like by the tires, okay? Some of us females not know too much about cars, don't, but don't get us twisted, okay? Quit playing. I can't stand our cars, men salesmen, or uh. What is that called? A car salesman or when you go get your car checked out and they try to overprice you because you a female. Quit playing with me. All right. So basically he heard it. I call Carvana. Carvana ended up telling me, okay, no problem. They so sweet. Customer service is bomb. It's still bomb to this day. 90 past days later. So they and I like, okay, you got to call Silver Rock. I'm going to give you their number. I'm going to transfer you, actually, and give you their number. I am so sorry, Miss Lily. I hope you get your car fixed. This is a very nice ride. So <laughs> They're so freaking sweet. So, okay, so I ended up calling Silver Rock. I made my appointment. I went in the next day, actually. Oh, so when I went in the next day, I dropped my car off. I was so skeptical about leaving my car with people because you know how people are like mm. so i left my car there i left my key there and i left whatever next thing before i left they were like oh you got silver rock back so they already knew about silver rock they hit you get what i'm saying so i'm like okay okay you know about silver rock but i don't know about you but you know what you know what i'm saying if you like me you get what i'm saying you get where i'm coming from when i just did what i just did when i did what i did when i said what i said so i'm like okay cool so, I was calling. I didn't call like that much. I called maybe three times to see if it was ready. And I wanted to know what was wrong with it before I left. And that's when they told me that, it, like, one of the, what was that called? The rotors broke. Like, it was, like, it was, like, broke in half or whatever. And that's what the, the click, 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 click noise because it was broken in half inside of the, one of the wheels or whatever the what makes the wheel go 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 okay so i'm like oh, okay because i know i wasn't tripping like we're playing okay quit playing so they got it fixed i'm not sure how much that came up to but baby i didn't have to come out the pocket for nothing so we was good so they fixed it i was back on a roll don't <laughs> I was on that road. I'm like, let me go test drive it. I'll be back. So I test drive it. I put that mug on the highway. All that. I'm like, if I have a problem, I'm going to call you. <laughs> I'm going to call y'all and everything. Stop playing. So I got on the highway. Got on the street. No more clicking. No more ticking. None of that. been what two two months because after i noticed that it was like two weeks after i had got the car when i was hearing the click 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 tick 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 whatever whatever it was good like it was done like it was cool like i didn't hear no noise haven't heard no noise and it's been good since then 
everything on a car besides that little rotor being broken in half or whatever it was called brakes rotor whatever that's been good like oh my god payments no hassle oh i also want to talk to you about when i end up getting you know since we're in the covid and my getting my uh plates or whatever so i had to you know with the covid you know the bmv is closed so they told me like okay um if you have to buy more uh 30-day tags we'll reimburse you which i did have to buy more 30-day tags but quick plan i put that in all i have to do is take a snapshot of my receipt snapshot of my receipt snapshot of the uh whatever whatever else i have to take of the email that i had purchased from bmv online they sent me my money back in a check form bam over and done with they be on their stuff they hit every cue like hey that's a problem finish huh that's a problem finish they be on their stuff they is not playing they ain't trying to get no negative reviews for nothing so far, so good. I like Carvana. I'm going to do another update in the next, um, since that was past a little bit, past 90 days. I'm going to probably do another one in six months and let y'all know what's going on with Carvana and how I've been feeling about them. If they've been doing me right, because I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Because if they haven't, I'm going to say, you know what, they'll they need to be so with that being said, if I missed any questions or if you have any other questions to ask me, leave it down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.